Good evening again, Mr. President and Mr. R. L. Mitchell. About this urban renewal re situation in Flint, I was on the bus today riding by Sunrise Cemetery and I saw a whole lot of chickens running it across the graveyard. And I see that that's what urban renewal means, turning Flint in inside of a barnyard. Any pits? If, but, and they got hogs all in, in we're going to get caught in the hat, between the Hatfields and the McCoy after a while. We the people of Flint. But I said that to say this about the rehab situation with the mayor the resolution. That's a good situation, too. Uh, you make it sound like they animals, and, no, and we got to vote on having the rehab in the community. Like, and stuff. And you know that's a, the discrimination against people, but you don't act like you ain't concerned about it. Just like I want to say to you, to, to Mr. Davis, it's an emergency, and you act like emergency ain't one of his tenants had to be flown to a help to a Detroit and got Detroit involved, but, but couldn't fit in the helicopter. But I didn't want to put it in the address order. and making it here in the jail and making it worse <laughs> than the, and you making them look better than the. R. L. You cannot. R. L. What? You cannot keep attacking Mr. Davis. That's no, you it. said that uh, attacking. I, I ain't I, saying nothing about it. I'm using I am word. telling you, no. What? Huh? What? What? No. What you say, man? I can't hear you. Thank you, R. L. Mr. Man, what you say that again? Thank you. You speak them words that are coming out of your mouth. R. L. Thank you. Man, what's up? Thank you, R. L. This on you. Thank you. Next speech, Mr. 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 Davis. No. Can I please say something? No, Mr. Davis. Uh, no.